Almost. There you go. That's that's more like it. Hey, Philippe. Like, I'd still take that pick up over the the VCR hitbox. I still think this is the better category than like over dog ending, just because of the like you don't have to do the VCR. Yeah, it was funny, like, I literally remembered as soon as I got on the boat, like, the, the second I pressed X, I'm like, oh shit, I know. It's just difficult, because it's like, every time you need to use it in this game, it's after a boss fight. Well, apart from, like, the last time you use it. But, like, you're doing it after a boss fight where you're just like sort of, uh, you know, getting over the fact that you just kicked ass or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Your brain is still, like, focusing on that fight. Yeah, on beginner he only takes like one shotgun shot, so... Hooray for easy mode. Yeah, this is probably one of the easiest speedruns out there. Like, there's nothing overly difficult in this game. You're just quick saving a lot. Um, so, like, right now I've got the text on the screen, and it, it basically keeps it on there. So you skip this, this trigger here, which would usually force you to go and get the plank and the radio. But if you've got that, if you've got text up while, like, mashing quicksave, it basically just skips any events. So you just run straight past. So this, like, first part saves, like, a minute pretty much on its own. Um, and then occasionally, if you quick save occasionally, then James doesn't get tired. He just keeps running because this game has like a stamina system where James will like slow down to a jog after a little bit, like after like ten seconds or so. So if you keep quick saving, he basically never gets tired. Uh, DKWDRV, no, what's that? Is this, is this still monitor stuff, or? Oh, it sounds like DX Wind, is it, is it some, like, new app that someone made? P 
PS1 on PS2 drive. Oh, shit. Oh! I don't know if that's... Um, someone posted in, the di in my Discord, like, running PS1 games off a USB stick, but with the, the driver. Is that what it is? Like, instead of using Pop Starter, it's like running it off the... Like, the PS driver that's, like, in the BIOS. But they're somehow, like, you know, keeping the USB ports alive in PS1 mode. Which is pretty interesting. Because Popstarter sucks, so anything's better than, than using Popstarter. But yeah, if you can use like a USB stick, man, that's that's perfect. That's like the perfect uh, ODE for PS1 games, pretty much. I mean, okay, it's it's not as good as P like an actual X station on a PS1, but it's it's the next best thing for sure. Like PS2, like a PS1 game on a PS2. If that's what that is, anyway. Not sure how close it is to, like, release, though. Like, I think the last update on it was, like, three months ago. But then again, I haven't really checked on it, so... Yeah, on PS2, uh, basically, like, PS2 and Xbox, there's no, like, quick saving, so you just kind of have to jog, basically. That's where the, the big difference comes, like, there's no... Like, the whole reason the PC version is faster than console is because of the quick saving, so if the developers never put that feature in, it'd be exactly the same, pretty much. And hey, we had W E W H. I'll just call you Woo. Hello. Welcome to the stream. But yeah, it also means you can't do the plank skip on PS2. You can't do abstract daddy skip. Um. Like, bunch of other shit, basically. I am. If you want me to be. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Like, they're trying to, like, use the PS1 driver. But, like, obviously when you boot a PS1 game on a PS2, it boots into, like, a PS1 mode, quote-unquote. So it, like, turns off USB, Ethernet. Uh, like, basically anything the PS1 didn't have. It turns those off. And that sucks. One thing it doesn't turn off though, which is interesting, although there's probably, they've probably worked around it, is the digital, like the optical audio port still works, I think. But yeah, that's just like, basically the audio is like bypassing the DAC, I guess, inside the system. So it's able to output through that with PS1 games. Like, it's not really doing anything itself, you know? So that that kind of makes sense. 
Like it's it's bypassing the digital conversion. A new meme about the juice recently. Oh, the canned juice. What did was di uh, James drinking it and getting ill because it's like ten years out of date. Yeah, I am, thanks. I hope you are doing well also. And yeah, welcome to the stream. Thanks for dropping by. That's not great. Damn, two hours and 50 minutes already, wow. Time really flies when you're speedrunning this game. Pog, world record pace. Oh, okay. It's one of those you have to be there memes, I guess. I bloody hate that thing. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. It might be the animation looks a bit faster, but nah, I think I think people tested that because it was the same with Silent Hill Three as well. Like Heather looked like she ran faster when she had the. Uh, shotgun equipped or something, but I think someone looked into it and there was no difference. It's just the animation looks looks faster. I mean, that would be pretty funny though. I always kind of thought that might be the case with Silent Hill 1. Like, running with the handgun instead of the shotgun. Because it definitely looks like Harry runs faster with the handgun equipped. But I, I, yeah, I don't think so. I think it's just like the animation looks faster. Alright, this is a good split though. Well, I say that. <laughs> then, like, the timer is not actually that good. But Pyramid Head is so slow leaving. Didn't save any time, didn't lose any time. Let's go. Pog. Nah, this is vanilla. Enhanced Edition, like, fixes glitches and shit, so, it, like, none of the speed strats work. Oh, shit. Mary?
Did you find the lady you're looking for? What's her name? Mary? I always quick save running into that cutscene because I feel like it. Well, I kind of hope that it makes him run a bit earlier, but like, it doesn't seem to make any difference. But I keep doing it anyway, just in. Just for the hope of him, like, moving in instantly. Like, some cutscenes you skip and he just stands still for like a good half a second. Hey, you're back at edits, thanks for the good luck. But yeah, I don't know, this game has some weird quirks, which are like passed on from Silent Hill 1. Like it has a similar thing going on. Best stream on Twitch. Yeah, I got dog ending world record earlier. Four seconds. Just uh, casually updating all the world records on this game with the new quick save quick load trick so you know free pbs and all that oh shit that was a good uh i don't know how the hell he saw it from back there but that was that was a good hitbox thanks for the congrats so now i'm going for the ufo world record yeah pretty much this this will be the third one if I get this this one which I'm hoping to you know we've got like another like three hours to <laughs> to get it if not this run Uh, Dizzy Splits found it. Uh, so you know the trapdoor in the prison? Where you've got to, like, combine the horseshoe, the wax doll, and the lighter. And then you basically, like, watch a little cutscene of the... of the handle being made. You can quick save, quick load, and it'll skip that altogether. And it saves about five seconds. So yeah, nice little time save. Good, 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 good. Yeah, honestly, I thought I had a... I had, like, a theory for, for UFO specifically, where, um... You know, so, like, when you get to the hotel, you basically only need the music box from uh, the staff area. So I had an idea of like going out of bounds and then just like going to that room, getting the music box, and then running back to the basement staircase. Uh, but it didn't work, unfortunately. So, but that that would have like saved a ton of time for UFO speedruns. If it worked. Oh god. But yeah, the reason it doesn't work is because you need to be on, like, the... When you go out of bounds in this game, you basically need to find a room that's on the same floor. Otherwise, it, it won't be active. So, for example, if I went out of bounds from this room, and went to uh, like the flesh lips room that I was just in. 
it, it wouldn't be active, so... Like, you would be just stuck in the room, not able to do anything. And that was pretty much the same situation with... with the music box. Like, so, like, the Snow White music box is in the pantry, which is on the first floor of the hotel, but you go out of bounds on the basement, so... That's that's why it doesn't work. But that's a shame, like, because that's like pretty much all you need for UFO ending. You don't you don't need the videotape, which is the main thing you get. You you basically get. Shit! What am I doing? <sighs> but yeah, you don't you don't need the videotape. So like the rest of the staff area in the hotel is just a waste of time basically there's nothing else you need oh by the way the music's died there's no music ten out of ten port Maybe this quick save, quick load will fix it. Oh my god, that was so bad. Uh, it it doesn't. But the reason that happens is because it's running on multiple CPU cores. So if you set it to one core, it won't do that. Like, if you start the game, go into Task Manager and then set CPU um, Affinity, CPU Affinity, and then just, like, select all but one core, then it won't do the looping thing. Oh my god, fucking dude. I love how you get, like, a good hospital and then it just, like, hey, you know what? I'm going to look at everything but what you want me to look at. Should be saving time here, but never mind. What a terrible second. Like, it, that was just, like, within the last minute of that hospital, like, some silly mistakes. Hey, thank you for the, uh, subscription. Yeah, so, um, so the reason it does that is because the game runs on multiple cores, like, on your CPU. So if you go into Task Manager, like, when you boot the game, and then you right-click the game and go to... CPU affinity or whatever and then just like select all uh, select one core and none of the others Like put it on one core, and then it'll it won't do that looping thing Because this game doesn't support like multiple I mean it'll run fine, but it's yeah the music like bugs out so Because it wants to just run on one core rather than several Yeah, PS2 only had one core, probably. I actually don't even... All I know about the PS2 CPU is that it was called the Emotion Engine. That's as far as I can tell you about that. Hey, thank you, Osarius, for the... Uh, for the sub. Much appreciated, guys. But yeah, the music cutting out like this, I don't know. I don't know why this happens. It's super rare, though. Like, it, it, this happens, like, maybe one in a thousand runs, maybe, so... Bit weird.
the I up. Oh yeah, the PS1 CPU. Yeah, some games did use that as well. Like some PS2 games did actually make use of that CPU because of the um like when the the Deckard PS2 came out where they removed it, like some games have problems like um Jack X and I think Star Ocean as well. Like those games don't work entirely on those on the later PS2 models. It's too dark to hear the music. Makes it extra spooky. Yeah, that's what it is. Also, if you use uh, DXWND, like if you want to force the game to run in a window or something, like that actually has a a tick box for like automatically starting the game in single core affinity, which is what I use, so I don't have to like tab out of the game every time I launch it. Like it'll just do it automatically for you. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I remember the Sega Saturn had, like, I think Sega Saturn had two CPUs, didn't it? And developers, like, had an absolute nightmare of a time making games for that system because of that. Ooh, nice. Nice movement. Hey, thank you, uh, Soul Chef. For the sub. Hype train, scam train, kappa. Oh, you haven't played three? Three's good, yeah. I think you'll enjoy it. If you enjoyed the first two games, which it sounds like you did, then, uh, yeah, three's, three's a good time. Also, it's a sequel to the first Silent Hill, so... Like, you don't have to play Silent Hill 1, but it's obviously recommended because it is like a direct sequel to it. Scam Train. But yeah, I know like Sega Saturn had like... It... It was better suited to, like, 2D stuff than 3D stuff as well, because it wasn't using, like, polygons. It was using cuboids or something. Like, I don't know. Really weird. So 3D games just struggled on that system. Yeah, 2 is is pretty much the fan favourite, like most people would say they like this one the most, which I am definitely in that camp. Like, closely followed by Silent Hill 1, but this is, in my opinion, like the best in the series. And like, probably one of my favourite games of all time, I should add. Most of Sega Steam didn't feel comfortable working with 3D. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Like, Nintendo 64 was actually the opposite to the Sega Saturn. Um, like, Nintendo really didn't want 2D games on their platform at first. Which is kind of a shame, really, because they missed out on, like, a fair few games. Like, obviously, Symphony of the Night and 
uh, Rayman 1 probably would have been released on N64. But yeah, that's that's interesting though. I didn't I didn't realize like Sega was like primarily focusing on uh, 2D. Fall yeah, I like the, the Fallout sounds. Also, you get Fallout emotes now as well to, to go with it. So yeah, thank you again for subscribing. Ah, right, okay, I see. I wonder if they... Like, I wonder if... I'm guessing the Sega Saturn probably would have cost less than originally. If they didn't have to, like, you know, quickly... Quickly, like, adjust the system. Because of Sony. Like, originally it probably was only going to cost, like, maybe 250, 300 tops. But then it ended up costing 400, I think. If I remember correctly. Which is like the main. That was like the main problem with the system, was it? It was like an extra hundred dollars compared to Sony. So, yeah. It was pretty much just doomed from the start. You like 3 the most? Yeah, a lot of people like 3 as well. I. I don't know. Like. I do like 3, but I still kind of wish that it was its own, like, individual entry instead of being a sequel. Fuck. Heather's great, yeah. Heather's, like, by far the best character in, in 3. Actually, I'd say Heather's probably, like, the best protagonist in the series. Also, that was a good prison. Let's go. World record. That is until I forget the blue gem again. It's also, like... Uh, one of my main issues with 3 is the the lack of openness in the game. Like, Silent Hill 1 and 2, you explore the town. Um, like, you know, you... you it's, not, it's not a linear game. Like... I mean, it kind of is, but it kind of isn't at the same time. Like, it's it's got, like, a massive open area for you to explore, run around in and stuff. And 3 just kind of doesn't have that because they didn't have enough time, I guess. So it just kind of feels like a watered down Silent Hill 2 in, in some cases. Like, it borrows a lot from this game. hasn't happened in such a long time. Well, goodbye five seconds. And the music is still dead.
And he didn't crawl. Wow. Silent Hill 3 doesn't have an enhanced edition if uh, I don't know if, if that's what you mean like this game does but Silent Hill 3 doesn't because it, it didn't really need it whereas this game is like a bit of a mess on PC well they kind of make me horny as well but like this one has well and truly been destroyed at this point like we're probably not even ahead anymore because of how bad this uh, labyrinth has gone lame yep also the friggin plier hitbox as well not plier wire cutter Ah, oh, right, okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, SH4 has a GOG release, which is, like, way more convenient than, like, you know, trying to find it, basically. Pulled out of lurk by the word horny, oh dear. Horny prison. Except it wasn't horny prison, it was horny labyrinth. Doesn't really work well, though. It's not really, uh, you know, got the same ring to it. <laughs> SMH. Yeah, it was really weird when they added it to GOG, because it was like, oh, we're, we're releasing four, but not, like, any of the others. And there it goes. Oh man, that's so bad. Also, blue gem. Blue gem, blue gem, blue gem, blue gem, blue gem. He remembered. No, but the air doesn't smell as foul this way. I mean, technically, I only need to save 0.3 seconds to PB to get a, a 35.41, so that's all I really need. So this is still on pace. It just kind of sucks that I, you know, lost the, the lead I would have had. Kind of like my any percent when I lost like six seconds or some shit like that. I went from like minus nine to like minus three because of the same thing. Basically, the the crawler didn't, the lying figure didn't crawl, so you just got to wait behind him. Wait, did they pull Metal Gear Solid already? That was only on there like. I think it was added around about the same time as 4. Maybe a little bit later. That's the one thing with, like, digital distribution. It's like, they can pull it any time they want. So if you didn't buy it already, then rip. You can't get it anymore.
And the music is still dead. Oh shit, that's weird. Is the PC version of MGS like actually any good? I've only ever played the PS2 version. I never even got the HD collection on PS3. So like I've only ever played the like the OG. Quiet times, yep. You can hear a pin drop. MGS one, yeah. Don't know if you've I don't know if you've played the Twin Snakes. Uh that's an interesting version. Oh god, come on. I actually saw a copy of that the other day. Uh the Twin Snakes. They wanted seventy pounds for it though. I don't know if that's like a good price or not. I don't know. Town. Okay. Cool. Loud Valley. Yeah, probably. Noisy Valley. Deafening Valley. I hate that, I hate the, like, stuttering, well, not stuttering, but, like, the slow menu there, instead of, like, the, the zippy one. Come on, pick it up. They've got a world record to get here. Stop wasting time, James. There should be a 3x unless something very, very bad happens. Yes. GG I don't need to make a save, but anyway, I just need to continue The GG and the gold split as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my PB has a second try out of bounds. That's why